Cancer is a leading cause of death worldwide. At PolyU, the state key laboratory of chemical biology and drug discovery strives for the discovery and development of new drugs. Its interdisciplinary research teams have discovered revolutionary cancer treatments and diagnostics, bringing new hope to patients. Professor Thomas Leung has discovered a drug called PTO1 that can starve cancer cells to death. PTO1, or pectomarginase, is a genetically modified version of the human enzyme arginase, which depletes the amino acid arginine. It has a high potential as a cancer therapy since many tumor types need arginine to survive but lack the ability to synthesize it. PTO1 represents the latest generation of the drug since research on the drug began 15 years ago. It has been licensed by an American clinical stage biotechnology company called Athenex and was approved by the US Food and Drug Administration in 2021 to enter phase one clinical trials. I envisage that PTO1 will become a very good drug for combining with other existing chemotherapy and immunotherapy to achieve the best anti-cancer defects on various cancer patients. Reversing cancer cells drug resistance is another significant achievement that PolyU can take pride in. Cancer cells have a transporter on their surface to pump anti-cancer drugs out of the cells. This mechanism makes drugs less effective over time. Professor Larry Chow has invented synthetic flavonoid dimers that can block the cell pumps and keep cancer drugs from being flushed out of the cells. After we discovered that flavonoid dimer can inhibit the drug pump of cancer cells, thereby reversing cancer drug resistance, two of such pumps are present in the barrier between the brain and the blood, removing the foreign chemicals that have accidentally entered the brain. This is a normal protective mechanism for the brain, but it also prevents anti-cancer drugs entering into the brain. In our laboratory, we have developed a new method to make a combinatorial library of flavonoid dimers, hundreds of them with different chemical structures. We discovered that some of them can inhibit the pumps present in the above blood-brain barrier. This pump inhibitor has been tested at the cellular and animal levels and licensed to a biopharmaceutical company for further clinical development. Another PolyU research team has developed nanomedicine for tumor precision diagnostics and therapy. Professor Yang Mo began his research in 2010 to develop a platform that can integrate diagnostics, imaging and therapy. It can accurately identify tumor cells circulating in the bloodstream and analyze multiple biomarkers of them from just a small blood sample. The current approach for tumor diagnostics is based on tissue biopsy which is invasive and dangerous for the patients and cannot be used for early diagnostics. Our nano DMFC technique is a liquid biopsy technique which can precisely detect and analyze a few tumor cells in the blood samples of the patient within two hours. In the future, this method can be widely used for the initial screening and early diagnosis of tumors, as well as tracking tumor prognosis and the effectiveness of treatment. With better targeting, fewer side effects and more precise imaging guided therapy, Professor Yang's approach will be a faster, cheaper and more accurate alternative for cancer treatment. The health benefits and impact of these life-changing drug discoveries of PolyU are profound. They have marked important milestones, demonstrating that Hong Kong scientists are capable of developing drugs from bench to bedside. <laughs>